Hi guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am just going to show you guys my most recent Erin Condren haul. It's not a very big one, so this isn't going to take very long, but I um, ordered new covers during the buy one get one free cover sale. And then I ordered something else as well. So yeah, I'm just going to jump in and show you guys what all I got. So the first one I picked up is this um, neutral kaleidoscope cover and it does have the rose gold foiling to obviously match my planner. I think it'll be super pretty. And I think this is also the cover that I'm going to keep on my planner whenever I store it away after this year is over. Um, just because I like that it's the theme of the kaleidoscope. I realized I didn't have a kaleidoscope cover yet. So um, anyways, I really like that one. I think it's gorgeous um, and I like it better than the plain kaleidoscope design. So love that one. Sorry, I have the light coming in on my window. Maybe I can scoot over a little bit. Okay, that's better. Um, then the next cover I picked up, I love. So I'm a huge fan of stripes and I just think this um, color palette that they put together on this one is just so pretty. I love that it's pastel. Still has kind of a summery feel, but also would look good in spring or honestly any time of the year. So had to pick that one up. I think it's called like interwoven stripes or something like that, but so pretty. It is a new one as well. So love that. This next one is a leopard print cover. If anybody knows me, they know I love leopard, cheetah print, whatever you want to call it. I've loved it since I was a little girl. I used to watch the Cheetah Girls and that was my movie. <laughs> but anyways, I thought that this looked really classy. I picked out the like rosewood brownish color for the main color. I think that's what it was. Um, and I just love the way it turned out. It looks very sophisticated and pretty, and I think it'll be perfect for the fall because I realized I didn't really have any planner covers that were like fall colors. And so I did pick up a couple different covers that I'll show you that I feel like will be really great for fall and winter. So anyways, love this design so much. This is an older one. It's been around for a while. Um, and yeah, so love that one. Then next, okay, this one I was a little unsure about buying, but again, since I was getting half of them free, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. Um, this is the donuts and ice cream. So I feel like it's definitely a little, I don't know, youthful. It did come out with the kids planners, but you know, I think it's really cute and I am going to be a teacher so I think if it's on my cover the kids will love it. Yeah, I'm not it's not usually the type of cover that I go for but I just think it's really cute. My boyfriend's daughter already loves it. I kind of wish I wouldn't have gotten my name on it because she really wants the kids planner which oh my gosh, I am so excited about. I cannot wait to get her into planning, but she's starting to become really curious. She's only 5. Um but she's starting to become really curious about all my stickers and my planner stuff and she's always wanting to help. So I always give her like leftover stickers and a notebook to put them in, but Anyways, I kind of wish I wouldn't have gotten my name on here so that way I could give this cover to her to use, but oh well. It's just hard not to get your name because it's so cute. Okay, and then this next one is one of the newer watercolor designs, and I actually already have this one in the 8.5 by 11 size that I got on a notebook, but it was um, a notebook that I used for my Praxis studying, and I like wrote that on the cover, so it's the wrong size, and it has writing on it that doesn't go with a planner, so... I decided to pick another one up because, like I said, I just loved it and um, thought it was really pretty. Again, love the colors. So, got that one. And then this one is another one that I thought would be really pretty for the fall. So, um, it kind of has these like darker reds and pinks. And it's, I think it's a little bit older of a floral one. Maybe it's one of the ones that came out for wedding planners, possibly. Not 100% sure, but 
Anyways, I thought it was really, really cute. Again, that will look good for fall. So I got that one. Plus, I thought that these colors, too, would look so pretty with the rose gold coil. So really excited about that. And then these next two, oh my gosh, I am so excited about these. So these are both covers that I did under the like create your own cover option um, where you can, if you're unfamiliar with buying covers on Erin Condren, there's an option where you can go in and upload your own photograph or design. Then um, they basically print that off on a cover for you. And it's a really great way to like fully customize your covers. Like honestly, there's endless options out there. Um, you have a design, you submit it, and you have a new cover. So anyways, both of these were designs that I found um, on the interwebs. Um, let me just pull them out to show you. So this first one is a little pumpkin design that I found actually on Pinterest. I just like searched fall or Halloween Erin Condren cover designs or something like that. And this was one of the first ones that popped up and it was posted actually a few years ago by somebody, but they posted the little um, design and then they kept it to where you could still edit it. So that way you could change your name. And um, so yeah, I just went in there and put in my name and then saved it as a JPG file and went ahead and uploaded it. And it turned out so, so cute. I love fall, obviously. I've talked about it multiple times in this video. And I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. And I don't have any fall or Halloween covers yet. So that's part of the reason why I wanted to stock up on planner covers and found this one and I just seriously love it. I love the little font that I got to use and it just turned out so cute. The back side's just a plain co color that actually turned out to match it really well. I was trying to pick a plain color that I felt like matched this one and it actually turned out to look really good. They did have a backside option but for some reason that file didn't work. So anyways, that was a lot of explanation but I freaking love the way this one turned out. And then the second one I got was actually, the design was posted by someone on the Erin Condren Facebook page. And I don't know if she created it herself or if she just found this on the internet, but it's from Hocus Pocus. It says, I put a spell on you. And then the backside has the Sanderson sisters, which, oh my gosh, like seriously, I love this so much. The only thing is that I don't know if these are really gonna look that great with my rose gold coil. I think they would look really cute on a gold or a silver coil, but they are just so cute that I couldn't pass them up. I haven't decided if I'm gonna continue with rose gold next year. This is my first year going that route. I always did silver because I didn't wanna pay the extra $10 for a different color, but I love rose gold. The only thing is I'm just realizing it kind of clashes with other colors quite a bit, so. Anyways, I tried to get in most of these covers that I felt like would go really well with the rose gold, with the exception of these two, but we'll see how they look. I just loved these designs, and thank you so much to whoever created these out there. I think they're so cute, and I am not artistic or creative enough to come up with them on my own, so you guys are awesome. But okay, so those are all of the covers that I picked up. And then real quick, I just wanted to show you some of the other covers that I have um, that I did not buy from this sale. I've been sticking all of my covers in this little um, kaleidoscope box that came with the Life Planner this year. Sorry about my light, by the way. It keeps reflecting, but... Anyways, so I decided to just use this as a storage box for my covers. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through these and show you some of the other ones that I have. So this one you guys have probably seen in some of my videos on my planner, but this was the Chase the Sun cover that came in the summer seasonal surprise box this, surprise box this year. Um, and I was so excited to see that it was rose gold because again, it was my first year with the rose gold coil and it matches perfectly. So love this one for a summer or even spring cover. 
Then one of my other favorites that I have is this little floral one. By the way, I have my name on every single one of these, so I'm probably never going to sell them. I don't really buy covers with the intention of selling them, so I get my name on all of them. But yeah, love this watercolor floral. I told you I love floral, so I was trying to venture out and stay away from just getting more floral covers. Then this is the Always Have the Courage to Start cover that came in the spring surprise box this year with the Woven Wonders pattern on the back. I love that the front and the back were different. I thought that was really cute. And it does have, you can't really see it, but it does have like a gold foiling on it. It still looks really cute with the rose gold just because of the pink in there. So love that cover. Okay. And then I just have a few more. This is a yellow and purple floral one. Um, these were actually colors that the Erin Condren website showed the cover in and I liked them so much. Didn't really feel the need to change them because I, they're my two favorite colors, yellow and purple. So I love this one and I do try and keep, keep them in their little packaging just to keep them as protected and safe as I can. So yeah, like that one and then <laughs> I have, this is just a plain Woven Wonders cover, so I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret here. Um, I have an Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly that I use for budgeting, and when I decided to start budgeting back in January, they were sold out of the Deluxe Monthlies, and I waited and waited and waited for them to restock, and it took them forever, so I just ended up buying a Deluxe Monthly on Amazon and so this cover just came on it which is why it's my only cover apart from the seasonal surprise box ones that don't have customization so yeah it looks brand spanking new because I tore it right off and put on my budget planner cover that I decided to use which I'll go ahead and show you guys that one too and then you guys I love this one it's so special to me this was my very first Erin Condren cover ever. Like, oh my gosh. It, it just, it's so special to me and it's so used. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but these little um, snap-ins are completely destroyed. Like, this cover is not super usable. And it makes me really, really sad because this design is no longer available. And... I wish I would have been a cover girl back then and bought this in multiple designs because I, I remember I was trying to decide if I wanted to do the black background or the gray and I loved the gray and now like this would look so freaking cute with these gray tabs but I don't even know if it'll snap in that well like if it'll stay because it's just so used up I haven't tried but I definitely can. So anyways, this was my very first cover, so it's super special to me, and it's just so scratched up and used and worn. Like, you guys probably can't really tell, but yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely had its time, because I, I used this for an entire year. So, and then real quick, let me just go grab my other two planners that have my other covers on them. Just one second. <laughs> Okay, so this is my budget planner with the budget cover on it. It's really hard to see. Um, I don't know if you guys can read that at all, but I just put budget planning in white on there and picked out the blue background on this floral pattern, which I'm thinking about getting this cover again without it saying budget on it. Um, but seriously, so cute. And then here is um, just one of my old planners with this um, Painted Petals cover on it. This is the only cover that I actually got my last name instead of my middle name on, which is funny, but, and I think that this is my 2016, 2017. Yes, this is my 2016, 2017 planner. Oh my gosh, there's a little sneak peek of how I used to plan. Like, I literally used to just buy little stickers from Michaels and Hobby Lobby and wrote mostly in pencil. And my life was so crazy. Like, look how busy I was at this time in my life. That's so funny. I'll have to go through this sometime with you guys. I think that would be a lot of fun. But 
Anyway, so this is my very first planner and I just still have this cover that I left on it. It was, it went with my university colors whenever I transferred from a community college to a university, but eventually I want to take this cover off and I want to buy the planner covers that match the design from that year. I got that idea from somebody. I can't, I think it was Sarah Marie or Plan with Lakin, somebody. And I love that idea. So like get the century circles on this one. And then when I'm done with the life planner, leave a kaleidoscope cover on it and put like the year on each one. I think that'd be a fun way to put them away. And that way I can still use the covers that are on them. And I don't have to sew them away without a cover. So anyways, that kind of got a little bit off topic, but back to my haul, um, I picked up one more thing that was not a cover. It's something that I have been wanting to buy and just didn't know if it was something that would be worth it, but I had an additional $25 off coupon for Erin Condren, so I was basically getting it for free and figured, why not? So. Before I show you, I also want to mention that um, I posted on the Erin Condren fan page when I got this in. I wasn't super happy with it, but I will admit that it, I've warmed up to it and I've decided that I actually love it, um, which is really funny. But anyways, I'm just going to show you guys and explain all of that. So I picked up a planner folio for the very first time. and. I have only been using it for about a week and I have to say I love it. So the reason I posted on the Erin Condren page was because I opened it up and was super disappointed with the colors. I wanted to go with something that was neutral. So I went with the new color block option that they have and I wanted to pick neutral colors that would go well with whatever covers I had on my planner because I'm weird about patterns and it would really bug me if I had like one design on this and then also like a clashing design on my planner cover. I just felt like I didn't want too much. So I decided to go with something that was neutral and tried to pick out some like grayish neutral tones that will go with really anything. So when I picked these colors out online, they looked a little more like mauve -y. And I will say this, um, where is it? This leopard print cover that I got is supposed to be the same color as this folio. So they are close, but they are different. And so anyways, when I posted a picture of it on the Erin Condren website, everybody was like, Taylor, that looks exactly like the picture of it online. And they were right. In the picture, it looks different than it does in real life. And I was like, I don't really have a way of showing them that this cover did not turn out as pretty as I had hoped. But in real life, it is honestly a little more like greenish brown not super green, but it's definitely more brown. And this, this design is a little more like mauve deeper purple is kind of how I felt like it was going to look. But on the folios, they do come out just a little faded looking. So anyways, I think this is going to be really cute with this cover, by the way. Um, but anyways, after looking at it and using it and putting it in my bag and all of that, I decided I love it. I love the neutral color. It's way better than I initially thought it was. And I basically told everyone, and everybody on the post was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you don't like it. Like it looks really cute. And so it was one of those things where you realize something you have other people think is cute. And so you're like, oh, I think I do like it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only person that does that, but anyways, so that was a lot of explanation, but the whole reason I decided to buy one of these is because I do like to carry my planner with me in like my school bag and everything else. And the covers always end up getting super scratched, which is why this cover is like pretty destroyed. Um, and so I just wanted a way to protect it. And now that I'm getting back into the school year and I have my new life planner, I'm like really protective over it. 
Um, and then I also saw a post recently of somebody who spilled coffee all over their planner. And when I read that, I almost cried just thinking about it. And then somebody else posted that their water bottle and their planner bag spilled all over their planner, which also almost gave me a heart attack. So just thinking about all of that, I was like, you know what? I need to get myself one of these folios and I'm really glad that I did because I like it so far. So let me just show you real quick. I did get the rose gold zipper. And then we'll try and open it up here just to show you. I'm sure if you're familiar with Erin Cauldron, you've seen these a million times. Oh, great. And now that I've opened this up, the lighting is super funky. Hold on, let me try something. Okay, that looks a little better. I just had to change a couple settings on my camera, but anyways, in the new um, customization, the rose gold is not only on the zipper, but also on the like foiling on the inside and everything else. So I'm really excited. I think this is gonna be perfect to just stick some extra stickers in and just have my, my main pins with me instead of throwing them in, a, in my bag to get lost with all my other stuff. Um, and then I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I do have the 18 month planner and I was really worried about how this would fit inside because I totally didn't think about that. Um, but as you can see, it's really thick. I think I'm going to end up tearing out the last six months, but for now I'm trying to keep it in the coil for as long as I can. And I was worried how it would fit, but let me show you guys. It's not too bad. So I posted, whenever I posted about not being sure if I liked my colors, I posted about it and somebody told me that the folios do stretch after some time and that they, your planner actually ends up fitting perfectly. It's almost like it gets molded to your planner. So it's a definitely a tight fit, that's for sure. And I was really worried about like my tab spending, but I've been keeping it in my bag for hours and that hasn't been a problem. It's just, again, a really tight fit and there's probably nothing else that I'm really gonna be able to fit in here. So, and I'm totally okay with that because again, I just want to use it to protect my planner. So I don't think it's gonna be too much of a problem. So yeah, that was my first time picking up a planner folio and I'm really excited about it and I did turn out to love it. That is all that I have for you guys. Um, I totally did not intend to go into so much detail. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna hop on here real quick and show them my new stuff. But of course, I always tend to talk a lot. So we'll see how long this ends up being. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.